Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft, where this time we're going to be checking out laser cannons because who doesn't like lasers and, and cannons and especially laser cannons. It's with a single command block. Let's go ahead and activate the command. It's already in here. It's by IJA Minecraft, who you may know as one of the world's leading geniuses with command blocks and single command block creations. And it's called laser cannons, as I already said. So the way this works is uh, all we have to do is craft things using the, the craft laser weapon block over here. It's a dispenser that's special in order to make laser cannons happen. So we can put our glass in like this, and it has to be like one single block in each, in each slot. You can't have multiple blocks stacked on top of each other. It won't work. So like if I just throw my whole stack of iron in there, can't do it. It has to be one at a time. And then it's interesting because it spits out like multiple items in return. So we need some redstone for it. We have our laser cannon here and we have our end rod. And then in order to get a couple modifiers, which you don't need, but they do cool things, we can throw in a block of gold. Again, only one gold. And then you get the neutralizer and the redirector. So now we've got basically everything we need. Uh, I just want to, you know, go far enough away to where we're not going to have issues like throwing the laser into that thing. Although I don't think it would do much, but you know, you, you want to be careful with things. So we want to put down our uh, laser cannon here and nothing happens. You're like, oh, what gives? I put down a laser cannon. That should be doing amazing things like cannoning off lasers. Well, you need to throw a redstone block at it for power. Just throw it sort of on the side of it. If you put it on the top, it doesn't do anything. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then you're still like, oh, there's no laser coming out. Well, you have to tell it where to shoot. So there you go, you were able to, to focus the beam out using one of the end rods. Now it only goes in one direction at a time, so if I stick another end rod here, nothing's going to happen. If I break this one though, then it will funnel to the new one. I don't know how it prioritizes when you have like a bunch of these on and, and what direction and, and all that, um, but it prioritizes it somehow. So anyway, only one, one thing at a time though, as you can see. Now, you're wondering, do the, do the laser things do damage, right? If, if you're in survival uh is it going to be bad news the answer is uh, yes you, you don't really want to walk into it when you do walk into it you'll notice it does like this whole black smoke and and fiery particle to show that you're on fire and it's it's not going to be good for you um but that's okay we'll switch back into creative here and uh if we walk into it you'll see that it makes the noise and and all that stuff now there is a toggle if you want it to be a little bit more effective as like a perimeter guard, you can go ahead and switch it to instant death being on so that I, I think I'll be fine if I walk through in creative mode. I don't think it does a, a slash kill command on you. Yeah, we're good. However, if we go ahead and let, let's grab some spawn eggs over here so we could demo it off on, on these poor hapless little animals. Um, here we go. I'm so sorry. You're going to be the test guinea pigs. You poor little sheep, zombie, and cat here. If we just... Oh, gosh. That's no good. That's no good. What if I put you down here, Mr. Zombie, and then I punch you in the face? And then I'm like, hey, follow me. But come on. What are you doing? What are you... You're try he's trying to follow, but he, he can't because he's stupid. Follow me, Mr. Zombie. They don't, they don't want to. Even though I'm punching him. Even though I'm in crit. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. What if I... What if I do this? And switch on over to survival. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, you're dead. Oh, no, you're dead, too. That's such a bummer because it kills you instantaneously. Oh, poor guy. Well, you know what? It, it happens. Put a cow here. Yeah, I would recommend you not walk through it, but it's tempting. I know. One of you is going to do it. One of you is going to walk on through that laser beam right there. And it's going to be bad news. It's going to be good for me. It's going to give me some, some nice... Ooh, yeah, delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, okay, so that's, that's the laser cannon thing. That's how it works in a nutshell. Um, you can toggle it between instant kill or damage over time, whatever floats your boat. In case you want, like, if you need to walk through it on occasion, you probably don't want it to be on, on instant kill. Now, you can also, you can, like, stack a bunch of them next to each other if you want to do that. You can you can do a whole, like, security grid array uh, of all of them and whatnot. Uh, let's see. I haven't tested if you can stack them on top of each other. Can you? Boom. Yeah, you can. You can stack them directly on top of each other. Which is pretty cool. Let's do another one there. They make some sound until you actually like get it activated. Here we go. Boom. And then throw you there. And then boom. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now say you want to do some fancy trickeries with them. So, oh, you poor guys. Um, you can use the redirector and the neutralizer. So the neutralizer, as it kind of sounds like, you throw it in front of there. It just stops the laser. It doesn't go any further. Um, just stops the beam and, and that's that. The last of his kind. Farewell. Poor, poor sheep, you were brave. 
You thought that you could withstand the laser when no one else could, and you were wrong. But I don't fault you for trying. You you thought long and hard about that. Anyway, so neutralizer just stops the laser. doesn't really matter where it is. just stops it, you know? And then if you break one, it's actually going to... It's going to reduce uh, uh, all the lasers that are within, I think, a 10-block radius just for a couple seconds so that you can actually retrieve the thing and, and not get zapped yourself. Assuming you're in survival mode, that's kind of important. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the neutralizer. Now, you also have the laser redirector. So when we put that there, it doesn't really do anything. You're like, oh, that's kind of kind of lame. However, however, if we throw another end rod on there, what do you know? All of a sudden, see that laser that was coming out over there? It's gone. And we have a new eight block long laser that's coming out of here. So it's both like a redirector and an extender. So you know, so what you can do here, what you could do is you could throw like another one there and then you can do this here and then see it's gonna extend it even further, right? And also I guess stop these ones. That's probably, it's probably like a little limitation when you have these like directly on top of each other, which you're probably not supposed to do, but it kind of, anyway. Um, it can only work from one side though. You can't like refocus the thing on a multiple multiple ends. It'll only do one at a time, and I I don't know how it prioritizes again. Um, but yeah, only one at a time. There you go. And then it'll go back going over there. Uh, these ones should be going all the way, but again, it's probably just a bug with having it like back to back and and that sort of stuff. Um, but if I did this, there we go. Anyway, so cool. It's like an extender slash redirector now. Something else to point out is uh, you do want to be careful using these around your structures because say we, you know, grab a little bit of wood here and uh, we throw it in front. It's not going to go very well. Um, it's going to go ahead and uh, eventually light the thing on fire, which is probably not going to be good for your house. You know, I, I, I don't recommend it. Um, now, interestingly enough, this piece of wood really seems to be withstanding things. That was, maybe it's like... No, that was a very resilient piece of wood. Huh. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but congratulations. Um, anyway, so just, just be careful, because it does vaporize things. Uh, because it is, well, a laser. And lasers do vaporize things, I think, uh, in real life. They're not, they're not good to, to do that uh, in front of. So, anyway, that's that. Um... This looks like a science laboratory here. Very dangerous mad scientist laboratory. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I think that's pretty much about it for uh, laser cannons. Again, if we wanted to extend this a little further, put another redirector on, boom, like that, and then boom, and then all of a sudden, we've got another eight blocks. Pretty freaking sweet. So anyway, that's about it. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the command in the description. Uh, thanks to IJ Minecraft for making it happen. And uh, as it winds down to nighttime, we're going to call it. Check out the playlist in the description for more single command block videos. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.